Hey ya kids! Today, I'm going to show you how to install Windows Longhorn build 4074 in VirtualBox. So let's begin. First, download VirtualBox. Link in description. Click on the blue button that says New or press Ctrl N or, if you're on a Mac, Command N. First, type the VM's name. I'll make mine Windows Longhorn Build 4074. It should detect the OS as Windows 7, but that's not correct. Click on Version and select Windows XP and either 32-bit or 64-bit, depending on which kind of ISO you got. I got a 32-bit ISO, so I will select 32-bit. Then, click on Next. Select the amount of RAM you want to use. The default is 192 megabytes, but I will make it 256 megabytes. Select the disk size you want to use. I will leave it as 10 gigabytes. Click Finish. Click on the orange button that says Settings or press Ctrl S, or if you're on a Mac, Command S. Click on the Storage tab. Click on the blue CD icon. Click on the blue CD icon with an arrow and click Choose a disk file. Navigate over to the place where you download the ISO to. Link for the ISO I use in the description. For me, it's in my downloads folder. Click OK, then click on the green arrow that says Start. It will start the Windows pre-installation environment, then boot up. If everything went well, you should see this screen. Wait for it to start the setup. Click on Continue. Type in this product key, and click OK. Select Yes, I accept the terms of this agreement, and click Continue. Next to Installation Location, click Click here to select where to install Windows. Select Unallow Key to Space, if it isn't already selected, and click Continue. You can give your computer a name by clicking on the Auto Generate Computer Name. I will give mine the name LH4074. Click Continue once you're done. You can also adjust the user account, regional settings, keyboard, and time zone if you want. But I'm happy with these settings. Click continue once you've adjusted the settings to your liking. Then, it will collect information and copy files needed for setup. Once you see the screen, click finish. Then, it will restart and detect the VM's hardware. This could take some time. After it's done, it will bring you to the desktop. Thanks for watching. I hope you're happy with your new Windows Longhorn VM. Bye!